Kali, making you a quick video for single leg deadlift. The single leg deadlift looks like an easy movement pattern, but it's very complicated uh, because it does so much good for the lower body, specifically the ankle, knee, and hip stabilization. When you do this properly, you will gain strength in your lower body, stabilization that occurs throughout your lower body from the feet to your hips, and it also still involves lat control, abs, and stabilization upper body as well. There are a couple of modifications that you can do with this. Um, there are also variations to a single leg deadlift. So the one I'm focusing on today is contralateral single leg deadlift. What that means is you're holding the bell or weight, it can be a dumbbell, um, opposite the working leg. When we do things contralaterally, we uh, are basically working in opposition. So our body is like an X, and when we move in opposition like that, it engages our vestibular system. Our vestibular system is located in our inner ear, and what that does is recruit the vestibular system in opposition, moving in opposition, which fires the vestibular system and improves coordination, balance, and spatial awareness. So. What you want to do, if this is all brand new to you, you may have to use support when you do this. So today for the video, I'm going to basically use the wall as support to show you that variation. But you could also use something like a weight rack, uh, if you're training at home, a door facing, even a cabinet that's low enough for you to do um, your single leg deadlift with a little bit of support. So when we do the single leg deadlift, I like to teach beginners to start from standing. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the kettlebell, stand in position, and get very tight. If you're tight, if you're not tight, at the bottom of your single leg deadlift, you're not gonna do it correctly. So what you wanna do is get tight, abs contracting, glutes contracting. I'm standing right now on my left leg, which is my working leg, and I'm holding the bell contralaterally in my right hand. What's gonna happen is I'm going to flex through my right foot and sit back holding at the hip again into my left leg and come up. When I do this, the left leg is the working leg, the right leg is staying contracted in the air, low. When I get comfortable with this, you're gonna see that the kettlebell actually hits the floor. And then I pull up. When I do that correctly, there's a huge load on this left glute. You can see I lost my balance there. Let me show you support using the wall here. When you do support, when you use support, you want to be standing close to the support of your working leg. So in this case, I'm going to stand on my right leg, use the wall as needed, and hold the kettlebell in my left arm. When I go left leg, I'll turn so that I'm beside the working leg. Make sense? So here I am. I'm gonna pick the kettlebell up, bring my arm down low on the support, so that when I go back into my single leg deadlift, I won't have a tendency to raise my shoulders. You wanna keep your shoulders packed, your back nice and flat, that leg that's in the air, press through the heel straight, and sit back. Single leg deadlift can be very frustrating at first. Have to take it slow, methodical. It's very taxing on the nervous system. And you'll find, as crazy as it is, you'll be out of breath when you do it right. 